That's awesome. Oh, I'm super jealous. I'm coming over later. Uh, anytime. I got an extra bed for you. <laughs> My fellow citizens of the world, what I have to say to you is not something I was ever prepared to say. As many of you know by now, we are suffering from inexplicable and seemingly unrelated incidents. Ranging from power outages, to the destruction of infrastructure and homes. We now believe these incidents are not unrelated, but in fact, connected. What is being visited upon our Earth is not of our Earth. What stands out to me right away, of course, are the different perspectives and cultural explorations you weave into this invasion narrative. It's incredibly fascinating to see these very human moments occur during a time of complete uncertainty, which is mm -hmm. something we've come to experience within the past two years. How did you and David, your writing and creating partner, go about absorbing these different cultures and making them feel as specific and human as possible without getting caught up in the the genre elements or the plot mechanics i really appreciate that you appreciated that um and it was critical from the very beginning of of thinking of um uh an alien invasion show that it be because it's a global event obviously um uh when if aliens are going to actually come to earth to represent the global experience of it and not have that be an American story, which we've seen so many times in alien invasion stories, where you just see like on um, a news footage, what's happening in Asia, right? Um, uh, we re really wanted it to reflect the world in which we live, um, both in terms of the diversity of the, of the main characters, but also the reality of how interconnected our world is now. We know what's happening in Hong Kong and we knew what was happening in Egypt. We know what's happening in Afghanistan because the internet and social media. And so we just felt like siloing the story to being purely American or purely British or anything you've seen before just felt um, outdated and it felt fake. And one of the things that was so important to me was that this show feels real, that it feels lived in, that these characters feel as nuanced and complex um, as they would if this were simply a drama without any of the genre elements, um, without the aliens showing up, that they feel alienated long before aliens show up, that all of them are alienated in their lives in some form. And in terms of learning about their cultures and being able to write in, the, in, in, a, in a voice that felt authentic um, to their world, part of it was research. Um, you know, talking to people uh, who like actually work in um, uh, astrophysics and, and space aeronautics in, um, in Japan, for instance, talking to soldiers who are American soldiers who, who are um, stationed in um, Middle East, uh, talking to um, Arab American families, um, because that's also a reality that I don't know. Um, you know, we chose to have those characters not be a white family in Long Island. We had them chose very specifically for them um, to perhaps feel somewhat alienated from a predominantly white community. Um, so it's research. And then it's also once you get the actors talking to the actors and especially like in the case of um, Shioli, you know, having her speak to her reality, her experience of Japan, um, which is, you know, she's going to bring a certain level of authenticity, not just to the performance, but even to the rewriting of lines um, that uh, we welcomed, um, I welcomed, and um, I think shows up um, uh, in terms of the characters. The world wants to test us, to see if it can break us. Today. This bitter earth.